Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Oh, man. It is my pleasure. Was that loud enough? I hope nobody had their headphones in. It is my pleasure to show you an extra special model today. This is the Mountain Dragon by Creature Caster, which according to their website is out of print. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on not one, but two copies, one of which you could commission if you wanted. So let's take a look. First off, uh, this is, oh, let's see. Am I not focused right on that? Okay, first off, there's different options for this model. You can get a saddle or no saddle, and you can get an armored neck or not an armored neck. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these pieces. But before we do that, this is an example of a creature caster model that's all painted up. This is a, I don't, I don't even know what they call it. Um, it's a... It's a demon. It's, it's really a stand-in for a Slaneshi demon, but quite frankly, it makes a great Glabrizu for Dungeons and & Dragons. And it, this gets even better. Most of their models have sort of these squarish, irregular bases that could really be considered round or, you know, square. And they are just perfect for a Dungeons and & Dragons large creature. Because a large creature is two inches by two inches. And um, let, me, let me show you an example of that. So, yeah, I do believe this is a 50 millimeter base. This is from Cthulhu Boars, by the way, King in Yellow. And uh, so, yeah, the bases basically are the same base as a large creature. Of course, really, this would be a, hu a huge creature, which is three inch by three inch base. Now, of course, if you're using a grid for Dungeons & Dragons, you're going to want them to be slightly smaller than 2-inch square or 3-inch square. So they kind of fit inside of the grid. In fact, uh, let, me just, let me just grab some gridded stuff and show you what it looks like actually on there. Uh, here we go. Nope, that's not right. Can I hear me clanging around in the background here? Uh, come on now. There we go. Ah, perfect. Okay. So here's some grid stuff. So a one inch square would be, oh, that has quite a bit of shine on it. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Let's get a Starfinder book. Sort of prop it up there. Oh, that's way better. Perfect. Ah, look at that. This is a quality show, guys. He said sarcastically. So here's a one inch square. That's a hero. And by the way, I like to put my models on round bases, even though it is like Pathfinder, for example, is uh, square type models. Let's get this demon on there. And as you can see, he really fits nicely in a two inch square. So as a huge creature, he can kind of be moved around like that. He's actually slightly smaller than two inches square which really is perfect. Hey, that actually stood up. All right, let's get rid of this. So I just wanted to show you the quality of a finished creature caster model. And now let's take a look, let's take a closer look at this mountain dragon. And by the way, this mat that you're seeing, this is, I do believe, by Frontline Gaming. They have a lot of great mats, great company. In fact, Valhalla 2014, they were just rolling them out. And, uh, you know, Reese and his compatriots have really done a fantastic job, so hats off to them. So anyway, the Mountain Dragon, as you can see, has more like a 2 inch by 3 inch base. And uh, so really, he'd be more like a humongous creature. So take a look at this. Let's see if I... I don't think the focus is right for that. Hold on, guys. There we go. So it has, an, it has like this square, this 20 millimeter square. And then, so you can put an armored, like naturally armored plate on there. Or you can put this saddle and have like a rider on it. And I guess his legs would just go over it. Now I'm going to be using the, uh, and just make him like a monster, right? Because I'm running Horde of the Dragon Queen. So there's the armored neck. 
Hold on, my focus still focus? It seems focused, okay. And then there's an unarmored neck. Here it is. Oh no, wait, that's not an unarmored neck. Okay, I feel silly now. This is actually the tail. So it, it only comes with one neck. You just get an armored neck and then you can just make it plated. And I think these are actually sp not supposed to be bone plates, but armor plates, because they have like rivets and stuff on them. So that's how that goes. But it can be blank, and that's certainly how I'm going to do it. And then, of course, two legs, two arms here, and two wings, which are really cool. I mean, what a fantastic piece. So anyway, uh, like I said, I have an extra one. So if you're interested in setting up a commission, the email for that is in the liner notes. And uh, right now, as of filming this video, we are at right around 34 projects. I like it to be 40. Uh, with a crew of 10 to 12 artists, we get things done in typically uh, four to eight weeks. We finish 15 to 20 projects uh, a month, and so may maybe a little longer than that. But anyway, that those numbers certainly fluctuate. All right, now I'm talking too long. Hey, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.